Salutations, my name is Ryzen. This is part 9 of my 100% playthrough of Lost in Shadow. Let's see here. I am going on to floor 13 through 15 in the factory section. Yeah, this game, they know how to do motion controls. I think they do a really good job with it. Yeah, it's just the right amount of motion control, but it's not tedious at all. It's not, um, it's not something that would have been better without motion controls. Now here's a little tricky part. You have to have the light just right. The lamps actually aren't as precise as um, it might seem. You see there's these little ridges um, on the bar, it, it will immediately just kind of jump up to the next one. So there's only really one, two, three, four, five possible points that you can have the light. There we go. It's hard to say what genre this game would be. I mean, a platformer, I guess, but it's not really a horror game. It's not exactly an action game. It's a puzzle game, platformer, but I don't know. You can know what I mean. Um, let's drop down here. Slide the lamp. You just have to be careful you don't accidentally drop down into the smoke pillar or flame pillar. It's hard to say it's a shadow pillar, I guess. That's what it is. Pretty straightforward here. Slide the lamp. Open up, get through. You can hear some enemies over here. Whoa. Almost ran right into that shadow pillar. Geyser, whatever. Alright, I want to take this guy out. These guys have spikes shoot out. They got me in the last video. You don't want to get too close. You want to hit them from a little farther away than it seems. There's a memory, but I can't open that yet. Hmm. Uh oh, rolly enemies. Spawn another one. Oh, crud. Alright, here's where it starts to get real. The enemies aren't too bad alone, but when they pair them, that's when they start to be dangerous. And the game will put you in unfavorable situations frequently. Okay, there we go. It's good to farm enemies for experience when you can, but sometimes if you end up taking more damage, um, it's not worth it. You have to really manage your health carefully in these areas. On well, this entire game. Taking more hits than I would have liked. There, nice. Okay, no damage from traps so far, so good.
Nice. Man, I took way too much damage there. Shoot, I have to be really careful now. I tried to jump over that enemy's projectile that I probably shouldn't have. Fortunately, provided I don't exit the level, they will not regenerate. I think you can restart the timer at any time, and that's useful since you won't see the animation. Um, the little stop camera scene there. So it's good to remember for those things. Now you'll notice there were some um, memories down there that I couldn't collect. I think. I um, have to come back to get those once I have a certain thing, so I can do it right now. Sometimes they actually have hidden things down in these pits, but with my current amount of health, I want to be really careful. <laughs> can't just drop down on them. Alright, that's good enough for now. Hopefully I'll find a shadow corridor soon. Get that health back. Kind of running low. you hear is the arrows being fired from the trap up there. Fortunately, there's ways to avoid that. I don't think there's any way to actually get past there without moving the lamp. I think the arrows will knock you off the ladder and will kill you. We don't want that. I don't think I can take any more damage at this point. Got a little bit of health back, but I took way more than I should have. a little bit of experience and health from this one. Nice. The trick is to not take more damage when you're farming down these. Alright, I think that one's out. Okay, good. I'm getting my health back up right before the big spider.
Okay, nice. I had to concentrate a little bit there. Sorry for the lack of commentary. You have to be careful. I know I've said that a lot, but it's true. It's a hard game. It's a fun game, though. If you like the original Prince of Persia, I think they mentioned that in a previous episode, but it is very much like that, and um, I think you'd like this game, too. There's a lot of skill and strategy involved in pretty much anything you do. Right now, I'm just going to run down here and make sure I'm not missing a memory. Nice, got that in before he could get me. There's a lot of secrets hidden all around that you have to be careful of. You have to really keep an eye out for them. Like that, for example. Nice, now we can open that gate. And I don't think the enemies will have regenerated since I haven't exited the level yet. So it's a good time to go back and um, get that memory. It's also a shadow corridor there. Cool how your sword has a trail of light to it. Because if you're a shadow and you're fighting other shadows, what would be the best best way to cut shadows? Light. Maybe hiding and waiting for the end isn't such a bad idea after all, but that wouldn't solve anything. Your shadow is 20 grams heavier. The game does have a lot of dark elements to it. That shadow just hide there, afraid to face the monsters until it exhausted itself. Eventually you can piece the story together through the memories. It seems like you might not be the only boy that was thrown off the tower. I think I'm safe there. Oops. See, there's that enemy down there. I'm gonna have to watch out for him later. If I hang here, I won't immediately climb up until I tap upwards. There we go. Okay, you can kind of vaguely see it, right? Uh -huh. I could see it before when the camera panned out. Right over there, there's a little ledge that's one, two, on the third one, so I think that's where I should drop down. That's how I get that shadow corridor. Come on, there you go. So it's one. Now here, if I'm not mistaken, is where I should drop down. Nope. Oh, man. Well, shoot. Should have counted those better. It was one farther than that last. But the Shadow Corridor will help make up for that. Eventually getting all the shadow corridors unlocks a secret weapon too, which is kind of cool. They give you enough time for the puzzles, but they don't give you any extra. 
like here when you climb up you have to immediately get out of there Unfortunately, I think the Shadow Quarters also make the enemies be revived, too. Let's not fall down this pit this time. And it's right here. Nice. But if I'm doing 100%, I have to get them anyway. Okay, read that one correctly. So far, so good. Some of it's kind of guesswork too, but that worked out. Really interesting world here too. It's very dreamlike, ethereal. Crushed. Thankfully, the crush damage doesn't kill you, it just damages you. That'd be really hard if you instantly died from being crushed. Nice, full health. And the enemies return. I think I might be able to cheese this guy from here. Yep. Nice. Sucker. Yeah, those big roller guys can be hard to deal with. You don't want to fight enemies together, that's for sure. Oh man. I don't know if they can see me up here or not. They're kind of giving me an annoying pattern though. I wish that they'd move over this way more so I can drop down on one side. Oh, blast. It's a phone call. I'll just edit this part out of the video. <laughs>